Can you do it? Will you accept my challenge? Are you worthy? Let's get fit together, Freedom Family! Ow! Baby, uh, what are you doing? Hi, my friends Komi Lime and I want to help you perform even better in your videos and so I want to talk about genuineness. Now, when I say genuineness, I mean appearing real to the audience, not being perceived as fake or acting, the audience feeling that you truly mean what you're saying. This doesn't mean that you have to speak exactly like you do in real life though, I mean, people don't normally sing when communicating with each other in real life, but one can still make their audience feel that they truly mean what they're singing, so you don't have to be completely natural, you just have to find a way to perform in a genuine way. The reason that I'm talking about this is because the less genuine that you seem, the less impact you will have on your audience because if they don't feel that you even mean what you are saying, then why should they listen to you? Why should they be emotionally invested in your message? Now, genuineness is kind of a pet peeve of mine and one of the first things that I look for when giving feedback to any performer. So, your challenge is to be as genuine as possible in front of the camera and or microphone, which can be quite a challenge at times. So in this episode I will focus on being genuine without a script and the next episode will be about delivering something scripted in a genuine way. Now, the solution to improvise genuineness is pretty simple because just the fact that you're improvising helps a lot because then you're just saying what comes to mind just in real life and genuinely react to whatever unexpected things that happen. So if you listen to how you deliver, then you will get it from experience. Be sure though to go with what you are emotionally invested in. Uh, pick topics that move you, set yourself up for things that you will genuinely have strong reactions to. This is why we were talking about what moves you in the previous episode. Go with that and your delivery will automatically be stronger and more genuine. Now, we don't always get to pick what videos we make, just like actors don't always get to pick their roles. And in those situations, you still have to find something in there that makes you invested. Actors, for example, use their creativity to interpret their roles in a way so that they start loving it. So if you are, for example, handed a game that you truly don't care about and are assigned to review it, then you could go. Now, beneath the France-Switzerland border near Geneva, there's an incredible piece of scientific equipment called the Large Hadron Collider. It is so powerful that it can accelerate particles to near speed of light and then smash them together to reveal the tiniest building blocks of our universe. If I were using that collider right now, I still wouldn't be able to locate my interest in this game. Yeah, you don't actually have to love it, you can actually just start ranting about how little you care about it, as long as you are emotionally invested and communicate emotions that come from a real place. So, go with what moves you and then you are well on your way to performing in a genuine way. Now, do you have any tips? Is this something that you think that you might struggle with? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.